These are some of the farmers in Nambale sub-county in Iganga district who are receiving the basic training that is aimed at improving the quality of their crops as well as knowing how they can maintain their grain without it withering. They are also part of the 16,000 farmers countrywide who expect to benefit from funds of about $12 million provided by the World Food Program with the help of USAID. A team from the United Nations World Food Program and officials from the Office of Relief and Development Support visited the farmers as part of the outreach program expected to monitor the growth of the farmers in agriculture. The government, especially the Minister of Agriculture, takes, takes it over. That's our, our biggest um, wish, to make it more sustainable. And through public-private partnership, um, they should be able to attract other partners. Although farmers in the Busoga sub-region have been very successful when it comes to growing crops, their biggest challenge has been post-harvest losses, and this has been caused due to inadequate post-harvest handling and storage facilities. Because of uh, the pests, Nkoko, uh, the hens, the, the rodents, Kale nabanga mfilizibwa mungiri otineyo. Actually, that's how he, she got uh, the laws. The number one priority must be preserving crops, preserving what's already been grown and making sure that farmers like Sophia do not lose 80% of what they grow. The World Food Program also inspected the latest innovations in guaranteeing food storage known as food storage silos. These not only keep pests away, but also keep the crops intact and humid in a way that will prevent them from decaying for several months. That before this came in, these people we are, not, we are ignorant about the, how they can improve on their production. We hope by the time they are completed uh, with the training, they should be able to also get their own um, uh, equipment. Over 20 storage silos were distributed to some of the farmers in Iganga district to help them enhance the progress for low-income earners' livelihoods. Suhail Mugavi, NTV.